Hi, this is Ryan Bentiman here with Big Kansas Coil, just out here on the way to a ham fest and decided to activate a uh, Parks on the Air spot here with the Big Kansas Coil and thought I'd show you how you can tune the Big Kansas Coil with an antenna analyzer to make it a resonant antenna. So here we have my setup here from the coil, um, running a Yaesu 891 on a BioNO battery. And there's the coil on the Ozcloth Faraday cloth ground plane back there. We activated 20 meters and had about 70 contacts in about 40 minutes. And it uh, great signals all across the U.S. and Canada and even one into Gibraltar. So we'll show how to use a rig expert here to set the coil. So this is the big Kansas coil here and we are running on 20 meters with the big Kansas coil seven section collapsible man pack whip that's 112 inches and for the ground plane we have the Oz cloth Faraday cloth mat and it has grommets in the four corners and then a center hole in there that allows you to attach the ground radials by a banana plug. And the ground radials connect here on the side, right there. And then you adjust the coil by moving this tap up and down. So here we have a Rig Expert AA55 zoom. And we're going to look at 20 meters here. And so we can center up on 20 meters and zoom in. And you can see the whole band. We drop down to a 1.03 and the whole band is under 1.5 here. So the question is how do you tune the coil? So that's easy. You have, you know, we'll just start this from scratch. So we'll start tuning the coil from scratch here. So this is the big canvas coil. This is a nylon body and a nylon tuning clip. And inside of the tuning clip is a shunt bar. And that shunt bar contacts the coil. It sits on the interstices of the wrapping and it shorts out the coil and allows the signal to come up here to the whip. So the way you tune it is you can read and look at a chart and you can read where that tuning notch right there reads on the rule and you can if you have a chart you can look back at what you used before but if you don't have that or if you're using a new whip or a wire or something different on your setup here's how to use an analyzer to do it so if we look at our 20 meters we changed our coil and we can see oh well, we're not anywhere close to where we want to be. So we zoom out on our analyzer, and we just see where that dip is. And, okay, we see that dip. That's too high. So too high on the frequency means that you need more coil engaged. And this coil works from the bottom up. So at the bottom is the least amount of coil engaged, and the top is the most amount of coil. So if you're going to be running 80 meters... You're going to be up here in this range. 20 meters is going to be down towards the bottom. So we moved it up a couple. And we're going to hit the button again. Oh, we got pretty close there. So now we can zoom in a little closer to what we want. And we can see, oh, even in the 20 meter band, we're right at below. We're right at 2 to 1 on the high end. So that would be acceptable. It's not ideal, but it would work. The radio would handle it. But we can see we're a little too low now. So what we can do is we can move the coil down one. So you can either depress the finger tabs in the back, or you can just grab the front and move the coil down one notch. Oh, we got a pretty good dip right there. So 
So we're basically below 1.5 across the whole band. And you can do this same exercise with any band you would like to tune. If you cannot get the frequency high enough, it means you have too long of a whip. So you might need to fold a section or two of the whip down to effectively shorten your whip. But that is how you can tune the Big Kansas Coil.